Before I started at Full Sail, I was feeling a bit empty and unaccomplished, but eager to change myself. I had always thought I wanted to be an actor, and at one point I wanted to build cars. Then it was building computers, but I never finished what I would start and quickly put those aside as hobbies and not real aspirations. Although I learned something from each, because of that I was left feeling like I had nothing to amount to other than hard labor and back pain for the rest of my life. But in the midst of being a self-proclaimed failure, I had always been fascinated with film and photography. And because of that, even with trying for so many other passions, my core passion was always taking pictures. I reached for a camera or a camera phone for every inspiring moment I could think of. I had even taken photography classes in high school and learned how to develop film. A few years before stumbling upon Full Sail, I decided I wanted to make something of this passion of mine. So I tried the YouTube learning way and created a channel called Demogul. Because of my passion for photography and my desire to be in movies and TV, as a kid, I became even more interested in cameras full circle and adopted filmmaking to my ledger of interests. I attempted to enroll in Full Sail in November of 2018, but the past had come back to haunt me. And suffice it to say, I didn't get enrolled at that point in time. But I was still determined to learn and grow this passion. Three months into learning filmmaking, editing videos, and posting them to YouTube, I began having horrific migraines, worse than I was ever used to. Not only were these migraines bad, I was having excruciating pains all over my body, but I pressed on and tried to ignore it, and it wasn't going away. I eventually went to see my doctor, and after a few MRIs and a few blood tests and a lumbar puncture, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. In the middle of editing a video for YouTube, I learned of the diagnosis over a phone call. Two days later, the past showed its ugly head, and every two days after that, for a week, I was either losing something or getting horrible news enough for me to consider suicide. But I had some coworkers that saw my rapid decline and found a way to keep me distracted, and the distraction helped, and I believe it saved my life. As the years progressed and 2020 arrived, I had learned so much that I was decently good at what I was doing now, but I hadn't given up on enrolling in full cell. Although by this point in time, I was on medical leave from work, evicted from my home, physically incapable of doing some simple tasks, sometimes in having on and off MS relapses, I still pressed on and enrolled in full cell and started classes in August of 2020. My desire to be a professional filmmaker and photographer has grown even bigger. This is what I was meant to do, and the only thing that has stood its ground even within the eye of my personal life storm. I have not yielded, and I will continue on because I am a filmmaker.